Hey everybody and welcome to part one of this 2D character creation series. In part one, we're going to take a look at character design. We're going to create a few variations of our character, see what works and what doesn't. And then in part two, we're going to take our character and add some amateur, so our character is more poseable. And then finally in part three, we're going to take care of lip syncing. Hello. So the first thing we can do is go ahead and load up a 2D animation workflow. So if you want, go to file, go to new, and then 2D animation. And as we can see, we now have this workspace ready for us. Go ahead and arrange the layout to something that's more comfortable. Just, uh, to zoom out, you can use your middle mouse wheel to scroll out. Then let's select a color. Get this a blue color. You can use whatever you want for your construction lines. That's fine. If you have a drawing tablet, then you can have these enabled and you can see we can get really faint lines or if you push down, you can get thicker lines. Though if you're using a mouse, uh, yeah, it will make a difference. So any tablet will work and it makes your job a lot easier than using the mouse. And you can pick up drawing tablets really cheap nowadays. Now I've got this construction brush, which is essentially a fancy name for a sketch brush. So right now we're on the layer that's called lines. Uh, we're going to add a new layer. Go ahead and rename this and you can call this construction or you can call it sketch or draft or rough, whatever you want to call it, just so you know that this is your guide. So I'm just going to go to my lines. I'm going to change the brush to a pen and then let's go ahead and change this to black. I'm going to turn on the pressure sensitivity for the radius. So now I've so the harder I press, the thicker the lines get. And I also want to go over to stroke. And here we can change a few settings, the smoothness. I'm going to bump this all the way up to two. Iterations to three, subdivision to three. And this will give me a nicer smooth line. This will be our detailing brush or inking brush, whatever you want to call it. So now we're going to go to full screen and the shortcut for that is control spacebar. And if we press it again, it'll just go back to the original layout. I'm also going to get rid of the toolbar by pressing T. And if you want, you can get rid of these widgets as well. It's entirely up to you if you want to use them or not. So now we have everything set up. We now need to know what kind of character we want to create. Now, the idea for this 2D character creation is for uh, an animation that I've got an idea for. I've not actually made it yet, but um, if you're watching this video, it should already be published. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just wanted to see if I could create an animation and this is the very start of it now. So creating our first character. So this is going to be um, a host for a podcast it is a guy called Vlad. Let's just jot a few things down. So he's a vampire. He's friendly. He's got crazy hair. And he's kind of old fashioned in his dress sense. So we have a crazy haired friendly vampire who's a slightly old fashioned named Vlad. So I'm just going to go into edit mode, press tab, press A, select all of this, scale it down a bit, move it out of the way. And there we go. That's the idea. So they're the details I had in mind when thinking of this podcast idea, but I'm not entirely sure what the character looks like. So that's why I'm going to create a few variations of the character, pick out a few things that I like and don't like, and then put them together for our first draft of Vlad. Uh, control spacebar to go back. I'm just going to switch to the construction layer. Now, instead of doing this every time, which can be annoying, uh, what you can do while you hover it over here, if you press Y, it'll bring up this change active layer menu. So we could actually just change the layers here instead of going back to this. So I'm going to press control spacebar. And again, anytime I want to change, I'm just going to press Y. So the first step is construction, creating our construction lines. Go ahead and change the brush from the pen to the pencil. So now we have this. And again, you can choose any color you want that feels more comfortable. I know some people who work in greens and reds, but I kind of like this blue color. Now, if you know how to do construction lines, normally you start with a circle and then you can add a chin. Add some direction lines. We know where the character's looking. That's all well and good. 
I kind of like to be a bit more loose with the head shapes since this is a cartoony kind of thing. It's not a realistic head. So I'm just going to make some shapes like this. Maybe a little bit different. And then, and then we can always come back and refine them. Now we can draw the direction lines. Now already I don't like this shape, so what I'm going to do is go to sculpt mode. And just increase the radius. And then, and then just reshape this if you want. And it's always a good tool to use to sort of nip and tuck and bring things in and out when you need it. And then we just jump back to draw mode. And for the eyes. But there we go, there's our head shapes. We'll call this one, two, and three. I'm going to block in the details for number one, then go to number two, and then number three. Then once I've got all the construction lines done, then we can switch the brush and add in the proper lines. So I'm going to start with number one. So I have no trouble admitting that I'm quite bad at drawing. For the last few weeks, I've been trying to improve my drawing skills, but you'll see how bad they are. But if you've got better skills at drawing than me, then you'll have an easier time at this. And these are going to be kind of cartoony eyes. Again, these are just rough for now, just to give me an idea how it looks. And there's probably hundreds, if not thousands, of variations of eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouths. I guess it's more about finding your artistic style. Not entirely sure I like mine, but uh, it is what it is. So I'm going to add some big fangs here for this guy. Just give him some crazy hair. Give him an ear. Now let's fix his head shape. As our first variation let's try something different now so different eyes different mouth different nose different hair and let's see how that looks for well, this one we'll add some more eyes let's give him some eyebrows and more of a cartoony nose let's give him a big smile let's give him some tiny fangs The smaller fangs kind of make him look a little more friendlier, I guess. Uh, let's give him an ear. Let's make this look a bit more like a bat. Let's give him some crazy hair. Let's change his head a little bit. There's variation number two. And let's just do something a bit more stylized. Maybe give him square eyes. Let's give him a little tiny nose, a big smile, and a pair of fangs. So now we have our construction lines done. This is going to act as a guide. So if you want, you can press Control and Spacebar. You could turn down the opacity for this if it's a bit too strong. Then switch the layers to lines. Control Spacebar to go back to full screen mode. And we can change our brush back to the pen. So now we can zoom in a lot more and be a bit more careful with our strokes. So first I'm going to start off with the eyes. So you might already see that the construction layer is above the line layer. So I'm just going to go back here 
So with the line selected, I'm just going to move this up one. And just take our time and go through, add these lines back in. So I'm just going to go through this and ink it in. And again, you might want to take your time on this. Don't rush through it. The character design stage is quite important. So this is what your character will look like forever, I guess. <laughs> so if something doesn't look right, it's okay. We can always come back and edit it in a minute. So I just want to get these things in first. I'm going to do the ear next. You can see it's a bit too far over, so I'm just going to push it in over here. And you can be as detailed as you want. Again, I'm not a, the best of drawers, so, so that's the best you're going to get for an ear. So next, I think I'm going to do the hair, since it's quite a big feature. I want this to be a nice smooth shape, so I'm going to hold shift and get a nice curve like that. Do the same. So there's his crazy hair. So I find it easier to do, rather than do the whole thing all at once, it's easier to do a few strokes at a time. So then you can always go back if you mess it up. And there we go. Now we can see, now it's been inked in. We can see there's quite a few problems. The proportions are terrible. And that's down to me not being any good with drawing. So what we can do, I'm just going to press control and spacebar. I'm going to go down to the construction and lock these in so we can no longer move them. And go to full screen, control spacebar, press tab, and go into edit mode. And if we select any one of these strokes, we can actually move them by pressing G. The closer we move this eye to the other one, the more it looks correct. Over here, it looks well wrong. <laughs> Whereas over here, it looks a lot better. And that can be for any facial feature. For example, let's take this nose. And if we move this up, the character looks completely different. Uh, if we move it all the way down here, again, the character looks completely different. So where you position these things does have an effect on how your character looks. So playing around with the position of the features will definitely give you interesting looks on your character. For example, here he looks more smug. And here, I guess he looks a bit more goofy, <laughs> I guess. So again, play around with it. Make sure you're happy with it. Uh, try the rotations. And yep, that's it for number one. So now I'm going to do the same thing for number two and number three. And it's the same process. I'm just going to ink it in and then maybe edit a few things. But I'll speed through this and I'll be back in a minute. So there's the three variations and <laughs> they don't look too good. But I do like some of the features of a few of them. So let me just pick out the ones I do like. Let's just change this colour. So I do like this hairstyle. I think the smaller fangs kind of make him look a bit friendlier, so. So I do kind of like these stylized empty eyes, so I'm going to go with these. And I'm not too sure about this nose or this one. I think I kind of like this one more. And finally the ears. And then for the head shape, I kind of like this head shape here. And I didn't really like anything about this character. He's got some sort of Boris Johnson looking hair, um, which wasn't intended, but it is crazy hair, so I guess it kind of fits. But yeah, I guess we didn't pick anything from this character. I don't know, I'm happy with these two. So let's go ahead and create our final version. So I'm just going to jump in edit mode. Let's go back to the construction layer and open this up as well. Let's again select all of this, scale it down, move it out of the way. So there we go. Again, the idea is the same. I'm going to create my construction lines. Then I'm going to add in the details, the ones that I liked. And then hopefully by the end of it, we should have our character. Let's go back to my construction pencil. And let's change it to the construction layer. So I'm going to press Y. Select construction. And there we go. So I'm going to create a head shape. Then direction. 
add the eyes, eyebrows, nose. Then let's add the ear. Again, let's give this some crazy hair. Again, already I can see that the proportions are wrong, but we can always fix that at the end. Let's give him a hairline. So our construction is done. We press Y, change this to the lines, switch the brush to the pen tool. And now I'm going to go through this and add the lines more carefully. So there we go, there's the first rough edit of Vladimir von Darkfall. Let's go ahead and add some colours, so control spacebar, go ahead and turn off the construction. Let's go down to the fill layer and we can add some colours. So I'm going to press T, bring up the toolbar, select the fill tool and let's go ahead and select a colour. Um, kind of like this colour. Now if we try and fill this now, it it kind of adds a black line around the inside. I'm just going to undo that, control Z. What we do need to do is go over here and change this from solid stroke to solid fill. Now we have this, we can fill anything that we want. So yeah, I kind of like that color. To me, that's kind of a vampire color. It's kind of pale blue. Then for the hair, give him some black hair. Now you can see straight away, we've got some gaps here. So if I just undo that, sometimes if you zoom right in on the whole piece, then press it, it sometimes fixes it, but we can see we still have this part here. You can either try and click on it and fill it, or an easier way to do it is just switch to the pen tool, make sure we have the same color, and we can see the last tool we used is using this color, so I'm gonna select it. And what this does, if we click and drag, we can actually draw any shape that we want, and it will fill to that color. So essentially we're just going to draw a selection around this and just fill in any of the areas. And those gaps have something I think to do with the precision. Uh, if we increase this precision, uh, it should be better. So for example, let's try this on the eyes. And you'll notice that it's improved. Uh, it does take a little bit longer to fill the whole piece in. And if you fill in bigger areas, then it can take a little bit longer. So now it's coming along. Let's go ahead and add some shadows. To do that, it's really simple. We're just going to add a new layer. And we're going to call this shadow. And we're going to turn this into a kind of clipping mask. Or just come over here to this side panel, open this up and choose masks. So now it's enabled. We just need to choose which layer we want this to mask on. So we want this to be on the fills, which is our colors. So now anytime that we draw in our shadow layer. We won't see anything on the outside, but anywhere that's got that fill layer, we will see. So it's pretty simple. We just need to now add some shadows for the face. Just again, go through, take your time, add some shadows, and anywhere that you want to add a shadow. And then what we could do is we could either go up here and reduce the opacity to something a bit softer. And we can see straight away, it gives another dimension to the character, it looks a bit more 3D. Or what you could do, let's set this back to one. Let's change the blend mode to something different. I kind of like hard light. So we can see it's actually using its own color to darken it rather than just using a black color. And again, we can reduce this if you need to. And we can see it's a lot more stronger on the hair. So maybe you want to do two shadow layers, one for the face and one for the hair. But there we go. And now we have this rough design. We can move on to the next step, which will be rigging the character. So we're recreating this and creating a whole body then add in some armature so we can rig this. And then finally, we're gonna move on to lip syncing. So hopefully you find this video helpful. If you do, be sure to hit that like button. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.